I'm Professor Christopher Nestor. I'm director of the Centre for Health, Sport and Rehabilitation Science at the University of Salford. My interest in research uh, started probably in my second year at podiatry course, where just part of the content of the lectures, I wanted to uh, to better understand it and begin to question some of the things we were being uh, taught. And so, in the second and third year, I talked to some of the lecturing staff about staying on and doing a masters and then a PhD. And I was fortunate enough at the time there were some funding opportunities which uh, the staff uh, supported us with. So I, I then registered for a masters then PhD and finished in 1999. I originally graduated in 1995. My particular area of interest is foot and ankle biomechanics and any sort of research related to foot and ankle uh, practice in the healthcare and in, in the context of sports, uh, footwear design, insole design and so on. The key projects I'm working on at the minute, uh, we do some basic science research which is related to how feet behave biomechanically. Uh, and that's related to uh, some collaborations both in Shanghai and in Sweden and previously in the US where we're developing unique instruments to study how feet uh, move. The podiatry GET laboratory um, is situated next to the clinical facilities in the podiatry department and um, the key features of the laboratory are the motion capture system which enables us to track the movements of body segments through space as people are walking or undertaking other activities. Plates which measure the force applied to the body uh, under the feet. Uh, EMG which allows us to look at the activity of muscles during a particular task and the foot pressure system which looks at the distribution of load underneath the foot. And using those, we can better understand the clinical problems that the patients might be presenting with and better understand what sort of orthotic, footwear, surgical or physical therapy intervention might be better required. So you can see that the feet are turned inwards. The students from here tend to go on to other research careers or quite senior clinical careers um, and using the research projects they've worked on or the knowledge they've gained through those research projects to um, enhance the position and the opportunity that they can offer to the, either the health service or private practice or to another research academic organisation. It's one thing to be interested in the science behind movement and movement disorders and the devices which can enhance or, or uh, make movement problems worse. It's another to actually experience using them. So being involved in sport and running and doing the London Marathon is all part of um, making sure we, our ideas and scientific uh, projects are, are quite well grounded in, in the experience of people actually using uh, biomechanics in their day-to-day -day life, whether it's uh, simply walking or whether it's undertaking sport activities. Well, two or three years ago, some of the podiatry members of staff who were prescribing orthotic devices for a range of foot and lower limb healthcare problems identified that a lot of the products that are on the marketplace, both for professionals and consumers, uh, weren't really up to the standards we would expect from a professional point of view. So we decided to try and design a new insole orthotic product with the principles of that a podiatrist or a physiotherapist would want to use in their clinical practice, but make it more widely available to other healthcare professionals and potentially to consumers as well. At the, the end of the project, uh, we set up a spin-off company which now produces that insole and sells it into the private and public uh, health services in the UK, America uh, and into parts of Europe. And we're beginning to develop a consumer range uh, of insole products that's a spin-off of that activity.